Good evening. I uh, hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, my name is John Robertson, and I'd like to welcome everyone to the Light Bears Mission uh, Community Empowerment Hour. Uh, we started the series of programming last year and have shared presentations on the topics of finance, nutrition, with plant-based cooking demos, natural remedies, and hydrotherapy, health topics, gardening, and more. And you can find them on the recording of our past presentations at our website that we'll put inside the chat. Uh, so if you'd like to go and take a look at them, please do. There's a lot of good information in there. It is our purpose here at the Light Bears Mission uh, Community Empowerment Hour uh, to make a difference in the community through training and providing information that uh, meets the needs of our community members and their families. We believe our programs have made a difference. Uh, we aim to continue sharing presentations to educate the community on topics such as overcoming addiction, the family, and much, much more. Please stay tuned. We also uh, desire to get your input. That's very important as we go forward on topics of interest to you that we may be able to present. What is it that you would like to, that you're interested in? that may help you as a, a member of the community. We, we will have a poll later, a little later to collect your thoughts uh, on that. And before we get started, we want to open this time with a word of prayer. And we believe to have success in anything, we need, uh, we need to seek God's blessings. So with that being said, let us bow for a word of prayer. Eternal Father, as we come before your holy and righteous throne, Father, we're just coming, asking for special blessings to be poured out upon those who are attending the, this meeting tonight and for those who may be viewing it in the future. We know, Father, that these uh, diseases are reversible and can be reversed. And we pray, Father, that you will uh, help those that will be attending our session. Um, this Thursday uh, with the reversal. We've had some very powerful testimonies and we've been very successful, but it's only been because of your, uh, because of your grace and the Holy Spirit leading and guiding us. Bless those who are on the line with us this evening. Uh, and I just pray, Father, that we all listen attentively and we will be ready to take notes and participate and share this wonderful opportunity with others. In the blessed name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, I do pray, amen. Okay, uh, this evening we will be giving you a sneak preview of a workshop we ran for the very first time last year in 2021. And it's an eight week diabetes undone workshop. And yes, uh, for the reversal of diabetes, um, this, is a, this is possible and has been done and continues to be done. Uh, we will be starting uh, another one later this week, as I mentioned. It begins this Thursday on the 27th and runs until March 17th. Um, Wanda Gooch is the workshop facilitator, facilitator, excuse me, and Merlene Andrew is the coordinator and will be presenting for us this evening. After the presentation, we'll, we will have questions and answers for you. Uh, this session and regarding the workshop and please uh, give them your undivided attention. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce the host for the guest speaker for this evening and that's going to be Wanda Gooch. Good evening, Wanda. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening. Okay, this evening we would like to share with you about our Diabetes Undone program. Um, diabetes seems to be a prevalent disease in our community. And knowing this, we decided to share a program that would make a difference and possibly reverse diabetes. From our program, you will hear that diet, exercise, and simple lifestyle changes can reverse diabetes, help you lose weight, decrease elevated blood pressure. And in most cases, get a good night's sleep. And these are just some of the things that you're gonna learn. You'll learn how to make succulent meals and homework, believe it or not, will actually be fun. You will make 
learn, you will, excuse me, you will learn that the, your health partner is going to be the most important person that helps you to reach your goal. Um, at this time, what I'd like to do is allow you to listen to one of the testimonies from one of our participants from the last time. Her name is Looney, and she's gonna share with you the experience that she had while attending this program. We see this it journey has been yes. yep. challenging. However, it has been um, an eye opener for me because there were, you know, I've taken other classes before, but not in a group as such. So, you know, I have Terry who, who calls on us and check on us to see how we're doing. She gives some great suggestion tips and um, attending the lesson on a weekly basis. Um, is the type of support I think that is necessary when you're doing a lifestyle um, change. It's not something you just do temporarily. You want it to be something that you can extend from this point forward and not worry about the past and just learn a lot together. And um, ironically, um, I went to my doctor on Friday and I um, I was traveling. I haven't been in the U.S. that long, um, only since July. And so, you know, because of COVID and I was I was abroad, I hadn't been able to go to the doctor um, the, like everyone else probably in the last year or two, right? So this was my first um, um, medical um, visit with my primary care physician. And he's also a new physician. So when I arrived to the... Um, the doctor's office on Friday, you know, I gave him my history orally. And um, of course, diabetes type two was one of the, you know, the things that I shared with him. But once he did my A1C, he was able to get my results immediately. And he says to me, you're not diabetic. <laughs> and I just rolled my eyes up, right? <laughs> I rolled my eyes and I'm like, okay, we go. My husband is constantly telling me that, but I think they forget that um, it's a journey. It's not something you can just do that one time or when you feel like it. It's mm -hmm. something that, like I said before, is ongoing. So when he said that, I rolled up my eyes like, okay, I know where this is going. I'm like, yes, I am, doc. He's like, well, your A1C is 5.6. And I'm like, wow. Hey, my first thought was, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Amen. Amen. My goal was 5.7 because 5.7 is the one that, the number that they tell you, you know. Yes less than 5.7 and I am mm. and I'm so thankful because um I have my my book right I have my <laughs> my, my group right and so that alone is are we done no I'm not done <laughs> this is just the tip of the iceberg right so I'm excited because um when you work so hard and you and you're committed you the only thing you think about is for God to bless your efforts and yes. that you don't feel like your efforts are in vain. And right. so it is great for me to come before you guys and celebrate and I'm <coughs> to celebrate with me <laughs> on that achievement because um, I'm praying and hoping that we all um, are blessed, uh, our achievements, I mean, our progress and our efforts are blessed as Amen. we travel on our, on our lifestyle. <laughs> That's yes, wonderful. and my weight also. My weight, I want to share that with you guys. I mean, I'm not, I'm small frame, so I'm mindful about my weight because I know it's also connected to my diabetes. Um, I have put on some weight, I guess, like everybody else, probably because of COVID, you know, sitting yes. around and not getting enough, you know, exercise and sunlight and things like that. But I'm also guilty about not sleeping well. And I've taken the challenge. My challenge was to go to sleep earlier. You know, because we yes. talked about how important sleep is. And that has definitely helped. Definitely. I'm not there completely yet, but I started. I started and um, I went down. My weight, had, I had gained weight. I was at about 134, now 127. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. That's um, a step in the right direction. Amen. 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 <laughs>
Thank you so much, Looney. Yeah. Yeah. And that should give all of us encouragement to just keep going forward no matter what. Yes. That yes. is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Amen. And at this time, we would like to also share with you a video of someone else who has actually reversed his diabetes, and you may know him. Um, at the time he reversed his diabetes, he was the Brooklyn Borough President in New York City. He is oh. now the mayor of New York City. Yeah. That is Mayor Eric Adams, and we have a testimony that we would like to share with you regarding his journey. People often ask me about uh, you know, my diabetes diagnosis and, you know, what did I do to deal with it? I felt as though, you know, this is part of getting older. We heard these stories before, you know, you get older, you're supposed to get uh, some form of chronic disease. And there was almost a surrender until the vision loss. That was a, it was like a wake up call and say, you know what, if I'm going to have to lose this war of health, it's not going to be um, without a battle. I uh, went to my computer and Googled, you know, uh, reversing diabetes. And I was just hoping to get a glimpse in what's in the universe of slowing down the progression of. How could I slow down my eye loss? How could I slow down the nerve damage? Uh, how do I slow it down? But when, they, when I started to see the R term used over and over again, reversal, 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 and I started reading some of the stories, I said, you know what, something may be to this. And that is when I started the journey of saying, you know what, it's no more living with, it was about reversing, and I moved in that direction. Three weeks after that, my eyesight cleared up. My ophthalmologist, uh, uh, you know, said, what did you do, what happened here? You know, because she told me to turn in my driver's license. She stated that you are no longer uh, legally able to drive, you know, and um, three months, after uh, following the diet, my blood pressure normalized. My A1C went down to a 5.7 to a pre-diabetes level. Uh, the ulcer went away. The nerve damage in my hands and feet um, went away. The numbness in my thigh went away. It was just amazing, um, you know, that how fast the body responded. It was never my DNA, it was my dinner. Mother joined me in, at the age of 80, 15 years as a diabetic, seven years on insulin, two months going whole food, plant-based, threw her insulin away. I'm happier now. Yes, I'm happier now, and I, I learned a lot to know that I don't have to eat all that meat and all those unnecessary things that I was eating to, you know, for my, if they wasn't for my wellness, it was horrible for me to be eating like that. I would be bloated, and I would feel uncomfortable. That's the best thing I could ever did for myself. Yes. The body is like saying, I want to heal you, but every time I try to, you're making sure that you give me more poison um, to prevent me from doing my job. And all I did, all I did was get out of my body's way. Thank you. I hope that was inspiring to you. It was to me. I knew of his journey because I lived in New York when he became um, a vegan vegetarian. But um, later on, he'll talk about Adventists who were not listening. And I was one of those who in, our in the church that I went to, they did not really um, they did not really follow a plant-based diet program. Here at LBM, Light Bearers Mission, they follow the plant-based program for your diet. And it has been overwhelmingly healing for me. 
At this time, um, we just like to share with you about Diabetes Undone. And we'll do a, just a slideshow presentation. Yes, there's someone with a hand up. Oh, I just, this, this is Wilma Daniels. I just want to say I liked what he said at the end that I have to get out of my body's way. Yes, amen. That is what struck me and that is so true. Thank you. Amen. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so we're going to share with you a little bit about the information of Diabetes Undone and the registration. Okay, what is Diabetes Undone? Okay. One out of three Americans have diabetes or prediabetes, but that doesn't have to be your story. Diabetes can actually be undone. Diabetes Undone is a scientifically proven diabetes reversal program that teaches you how to reverse your disease and reclaim your health. You'll learn how nutrition, exercise, and other simple lifestyle strategies can overcome your disease. Whether you have diabetes or you know someone with diabetes, this is the practical information you'll need to change a life forever. As the author Thomas Carlyle once said, he who has health has hope, and he who has hope has everything. Start today. It's never too late to start your journey to better health. I guess that, is that what you call it? Chicken wedges? Okay, I'd like to be able to tell you a little bit about Dr. Westberg. Yes. Okay, so over 25 years of clinical experience, Dr. Westberg has. He is actually the one that invented the Diabetes Undone program. And in his program, he has reversed diabetes, heart disease, depression, and other health conditions. He's also the author of Goodbye Diabetes and Hello Healthy, which I have both, and they're excellent books. Dr. Westberg trained at Loma Linda University, and I don't know how many of you have ever heard of Blue Zones, but Loma Linda, California is the only blue zone in the United States. A blue zone is where you have people that are very healthy, and they usually live to over 100 years old. And um, also Dr. Westberg, Westberg is a clinical, assistant clinical professor at Loma Linda University School of Medicine and Public Health. He is also a certified nutritional specialist and the founding director and fellow of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. And just to let you know, there are only five blue zones in the whole world of which Loma Linda is one. So it's all about diet and exercise. Okay, so um, as he said, one in three Americans have diabetes, okay? Um, and the underlying causes are the same underlying causes for other lifestyle diseases, such as hypertension or high blood pressure, heart disease or coronary artery disease, and some common forms of cancer. And the number one risk of, um, Alzheimer's, which Alzheimer's is known as um, diabetes type three, because Alzheimer's um, occurs in the brain, the diabetes type three, excuse me, occurs in the brain where the neurons and the ner or the nerves in the brain don't respond to insulin the way they should. And that affects the memory and the learning center of the brain. You also have um, diabetes affecting um, people becoming, um, their kidneys shutting down and they're having to go on di dialysis, their loss of limbs, or even blindness, which Eric Adams also spoke of, how he, his eyesight was so bad they were gonna take his license, his driver's license away. And then three weeks later, it cleared up from just making 
regular changes or common changes that you would do in a lifestyle change um, for, for diabetes. Um, and also you need to know, and this is just being realistic, that diabetes can lead to death. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want you to know that these are our health partners for this session. They are the ones that will be working with you every day. They will be calling you anywhere from five to 10 minutes a day, and they will be making sure that you have set your goal, that you're aiming towards your goal, that you're working towards your goal, and they will give you any assistance they can to help you meet your goal. What you need to know that is that you can ask them any questions. My information is also going to be available to you. You can call me at any time or Sister Lydian Indali or Sister Merlene Andre, depending on what your question is, we will always be there to answer your questions. And no question is irrelevant in our eyes. Everything is what you needed to be in order for you to understand that diabetes is a very sim um excuse me a very dangerous disease but with a few changes and simple lifestyle changes and diet you can get rid of those and of course you would be doing this in conjunction with your doctor you would not be doing it with just us we are not medical professionals This is what our workshop looks like. And um, these are some of the health partners and participants that we had last time. And at this time, I just wanna share with you a little bit about the workshops. We have a group setting on Zoom uh, where we come together once a week to go into the break rooms at appropriate times so that the health partner and the participant can talk in a more intimate or private setting. In the breakout rooms, you may be the only person with your health partner, or there may be another person there, but it will only be, hopefully it will only be two people. We hope that we've created a comfortable environment for you, for everyone at the workshop, so that the workshops are fun and informative, they're not boring. And when people start to interact with one another, you will see how much fun we have. You see some of the smiles of the people that are there. Um, on on one, one that participants can be comfortable in and share, you won't be, hopefully you won't be afraid to share what's really going on with your health partner, okay? In um, the group setting, everyone will benefit from the information viewed in the videos and they can ask questions. After each video, there's a segment that will ask questions or ask the participants to give a deeper thought to the information that was viewed and share that information. Also in the break rooms, the participants will have the opportunity to share with their health partner, their thoughts and ideas. So you can see your health partner is going to be with you throughout the whole process. And even when you're, when it's during the week and we're not online, the health partner is still going to be available to you to answer your questions and help you along. And like I said, the whole team would be willing to do that. There will be homework. Yes, there will be homework and recipes to try at home. And like I said, we're going to make it as fun for you as possible, but also we're gonna make it a learning process. Normally it would be in the setting of a home or a church area where the participants would get in smaller groups. But since COVID, we've all had to adjust somewhat and be able to get the same benefits. So come join us, have fun as we seek to make lifestyle changes for a better health. At this time, I would like to turn our presentation over to Merlene Andre, and she will continue on. Thank you so much for your attention and time.
Actually, at this time, we're going to see a preview of act one of the segments that is uh, part of the workshop with Dr. Youngberg. Here it is. Okay, thank you. Have you ever had a major paradigm shift? Your entire life, you held a certain belief or opinion, only discover it just wasn't true. A paradigm shift occurs when the usual and accepted way of doing or thinking about something changes completely. It's a radical 180 degree turn from one way of thinking to another. It was 1985 and I was sitting in a medical lecture by Dr. James Anderson, who was a leading expert in diabetes research and treatment. Dr. Anderson was discussing the dramatic changes his diabetic patients had experienced. He had taken hospitalized type 2 diabetic patients with poorly controlled blood sugars and simply changed their diet from the standard American diet to a diet high in fiber and plant-based foods. Within weeks, the patients experienced dramatic improvements. Their need for insulin and oral medications dropped anywhere from 75 to 90 percent. Many patients improved so much that they no longer fit the diagnostic criteria for diabetes. I could hardly believe my ears. I had always been taught that diabetes was incurable, that diabetics would struggle with the disease for the rest of their lives. But this respected physician and researcher was sharing case after case of patients who had reversed their type 2 diabetes completely. Sure, they needed to continue their healthy habits so the disease wouldn't return. But the point is that they didn't have diabetes anymore. That was the beginning of my diabetes paradigm shift. And after working with diabetics for the past 25 years, I'm more convinced than ever that this paradigm is true. By addressing the cause of illness, type 2 diabetics can experience dramatic health improvements, avoid complications, and possibly even reverse the condition. What a powerful paradigm. But wait a second. If type 2 diabetes can be improved so dramatically, why don't we hear about this more often? Or about this from our medical community. Why aren't diabetic patients taught the valuable information they need to transform their health? In our fast-paced, money-driven healthcare system, providers often don't have adequate time to educate patients about how to be healthy. All too often, patients are treated for the symptoms of the disease, while the underlying causes of disease are just simply not addressed. Imagine that you walk into your bathroom and find a puddle of water all over the floor. You run to the closet, grab a mop, and begin cleaning it up as quickly as you can, but despite your efforts, the puddle continues to grow. It spreads into the hallway, the living room, the bedrooms. No matter how fast you mop, the puddle grows faster. Where's the water coming from? Just then, you notice that the bathtub is overflowing and the faucet is still on. What's your next step? Will you keep mopping? Satisfied that you're working hard to address the situation? No. You've got to turn the faucet off. Addressing the symptoms of disease without dealing with the cause of disease is like mopping up a wet floor without turning off the faucet. It's an outdated paradigm, and it simply doesn't work. The good news is that just like a faucet can be turned off, the factors that promote disease can be turned off. If you struggle with type 2 diabetes or prediabetes, you don't have to settle for a mop-up job. You can move past the old diabetes paradigm and embrace the new. Approximately a year ago, I uh, was feeling really bad. I was uh, lack of energy, um, constant uh, headaches, uh, wake up not feeling as energetic as I usually do. Decided to talk to the doctor about it. I went in, uh, he put me through a glucose test and the glucose test revealed that I had uh, diabetes. From my experience, I know diabetes to not be curable. And I thought that uh, my future was gonna be pretty much uh, shortened. Uh, I thought that, you know, I may possibly uh, not be able to do the things that I wanted to do with my kids, such as sporting events, uh, soccer, 
softball, uh, basketball, amputations of toes, fingers, and limbs um, all came into mind when I was first diagnosed with diabetes. A friend of mine uh, told me about Dr. Youngberg and explained that he may be able to help me. After the first three weeks, um, I could feel a change. It felt like uh, a weight was lifted off me. Um, I, I could wake up a lot more, with a lot more energy, um, a lot more focus um, on what I had to do each day. After three months of meeting Dr. Youngberg, um, my diabetes uh, was uh, reversed and, uh, and I was told by one of my doctors at the VA that I'm, I'm no longer diabetic. Been, I've been feeling better ever since. Today, I'm living proof that diabetes can be reversed. I was taking a routine medical test, you know, my just a thing, and for the first time, the doctor, my primary doctor says, I think you're diabetic. So we take further testing and sure enough, I was a full blown by diabetic. My primary doctor said, oh, we can take care of that with medications and all so forth. I said to myself, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try this lifestyle medicine way. It's quite simple things that we had to do. It, it just made all good sense. So it wasn't, it wasn't a hardship at all, as far as I was concerned. Six months later, after that, after the started all that, I, I was declared non-diabetic. I reversed it. And since then, I just had the uh, extensive test just about two months ago, and I'm still, still not a diabetic or pre-diabetic. And that, that alone is, is the reward. And I'm eternally grateful, there's no question about it. Now I've been without diabetes for a year and a half. I, I hope that's an encouragement to anybody else that could say, here this 91 old guy can do it, I'm gonna do it too. I hope that, I hope somebody says that. Aren't these powerful stories? Because they believe that change was possible, they were motivated to make healthy choices. These are just a few of many former diabetics who transformed their health, all starting with a paradigm shift. What about you? What's your health story? Would you like to experience some of the same results? The good news is that you can. It all starts in your mind. Your health paradigm will determine your health destiny. Why not shift that paradigm today? Just to show us what um, you will receive as a participant, um, we know that the cost is $60 and that basically covers the material that you will get, the workbook, which has a, um, all the, the information, all your instruction, especially that which you'll be using in the breakout room. And also it has a 21 day journal because after the eight weeks, you're actually gonna be keeping track of a lot of different things in your new lifestyle, and you'll be plugging them into the journal. And then we have the cookbook as well. Um, Wanda mentioned that, uh, I think she mentioned that we do, at, in each session, there is a recipe that is featured and they're all in the book as well. You also get a DVD that goes over the uh, eight laws of health that would um, give you, help you in your new lifestyle. And when you do register and you go into the online uh, work workshop, we could say the, the classroom, you have access to all the videos and you will continue to have access to that for a year after the end of the program. So this is what you'll be getting for the cost of the workshop. Um, so here are the details regarding the workshop. As we know, it uh, starts this coming Thursday for eight weeks, one day per week, and it runs into the middle of March. Uh, typically an hour and a half, uh, some maybe slightly longer, some shorter, some of the sessions. 
And then yes, we are on Zoom. When you fill out the registration, you will get the uh, additional information about making payment. We use Zelle. You can either use Zelle or we can give you a link to uh, the, the Advent Giving, Adventist Giving uh, site where you can make the payment there as well. Once the payment is made, uh, we will send you the last bit of information. We will put uh, the material in the mail for you, but also right away, you'll get an email that will include virtual or digital copies of the materials, the books that you're gonna be getting in hand. Let me see. Okay, so if you don't, um, if you don't have the registration, yeah, I know some of you that are here do have it um, and you're interested in getting it or you want to share, you wanna get someone that you know can probably benefit from this program, uh, put your name and your email address in the chat and we'll make sure you get the registration as well as the flyer that would give information to the individual about the program. After one more slide, we will open up for q and I think Wanda, we're ready for this. Um, our last uh, testimony or a few words being shared about. Yes. When you get off of drugs and alcohol, you do it by having the support system and look at the behavioral patterns because people are feeding their pain. And, and if we're going to do this, it has to be a holistic approach. Now, some of them, like I did, got it. But the overwhelming number of people, they need that support system in place to make this happen. Only faith-based institution that even deals with this are seven-day adventures. <laughs> Only one. Only one. That's the good side. But the bad side is a whole lot of them don't listen. having the information and ignore it. You can't, you can't go through the Bible and believe everything else and say, I'm just going to skip over this part about him. You know, and, just, I mean, and that is the conversation we must have from the pulpit. Yes. We have a couple of gifts for you. Answers. We are now going to open up for questions and answers. Uh, Wanda, was there anything else we wanted to cover at all? No, not at this time. No, we're good. Okay. So we are, uh, Wanda and I are prepared to answer questions. And just so you know, we, so we're on Zoom and there may be technical issues. I would be the one to deal with any technical issues for you. And this is from the beginning until, you know, even during the, the program. So are there any questions? Hi, this is Grace. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Hi, Grace. Hi. Um, so I'm on the phone. I have my sister on the phone um, with me. Her name is Edna Whiting. And she had a question. And I'm not sure if this is something that can be answered in this forum or if it should be, you know, answered in the class. But she was asking the question that for someone that is um, overweight, but also has back problems and back pain, how would they be able to do the exercise that would be encouraged, of course, in the class in order to be able to lose the weight? Tell her I'm a type two diabetic. And she's a type two diabetic. Could you guys hear her? Edna, say it again. I, I can. am a type two diabetic. 
I am 62 years old. I'm on an insulin pump right now. Uh, I have to check my sugar four times a day, but I have a severe back pain and I do use a walker, but I only can walk so far before my back start hurting really bad. So what would I need to do? I definitely need, do need to lose weight. I'm like 272 pounds. What do I do? Okay. Um, I'll, I'll take that question. What you could start off doing, um, you may not want to do the exercise right away in the beginning because you are, um, you have a lot going on there, okay? And because of HIPAA guidelines, I won't go into all the details, but um, I'll talk to you individually regarding some of the things that you could do just because we don't share a lot of health information over the phone. I mean, over in a public setting like this, not even in the class sometimes, I just call and talk to you individually, personally. And um, this may be one of those times. However, one thing you could do is start by drinking lots of water, okay? As long as you don't have any problems with your kidneys at this time, you could start with a lot of water and you could um, do a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables as long as there isn't anything that, that um, is in your health background that's going to prevent you from doing that. And like I said, um, maybe I could get your information, put it in the chat and I can call you and talk to you more specifically about that, um, about how you, how you would approach it. Okay, Miss um, Miss Gooch, I will um, type her phone number in specifically so that it'll go directly to you. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any more questions? I put my question in the chat. Wilma Daniels. Okay. Yes, I did see that. So there are two ways to make um, payment. Uh, many banks are using Zelle right now. And so typically once you fill out the registration and send it back, we would forward to you the, uh, the payment, the, the payment process. But I'll tell you this because today's Tuesday and it's starting on Thursday. Um, if you wanna go ahead, if you know that you've decided to, if you know that you've decided to, um, to do it, you can go ahead and just let us know and we'll send you that information so we can get things done and ready right. to go it, by tomorrow. Yeah, I, don't have, I don't have any of that. You and don't have the uh, registration? No, I had the registration. I, I, I filled out the registration. I don't have PayPal or Zelle or any of those types of things. I see. But that's why I asked if I could send it to that person. Okay, because so you saw my answer. Do you do you do that? Okay, maybe you can send. Maybe you can do that. Okay, that, well, that should be fine. Okay. All right. Um, and also, I'll just mention that we know that sometimes um, individuals may have difficulty uh, financially. We are able to assist with that. Just let us know. And we can uh, we can very likely get you going. Wanda, there's a question here, uh, and if that be the case, um, you can also you can directly uh, indicate to me um, in the chat directly to me, and then okay. we can go from there. And Wanda, yes, the I'm not will seeing also help other other problems besides, so maybe that's a statement as opposed to a question. Do you see that? I'm looking, hold on. Because yes, it, it in my presentation, I talked about other things that it would help. Right. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that the, 
I mean, everything is good about it, but one of the really good things about it is that your health partner, um, your health partner yes. is there to encourage you to keep you going. And um, the other, and, and that will extend also beyond the eight weeks because while you're doing the, your journaling, which goes 21 days beyond, you know, 21 days makes a habit. So it helps to be able to journal through to make mm -hmm. sure it sticks with you. Let me see if there are any other questions here. Okay. I don't see any other questions. Okay. And let me just ask Grace a question. Grace, are you going to be um, Edna's support in the community? Um, actually, I am a participant uh, in the class. I signed up. Oh, for the wonderful. Class. Okay. I was. Okay. I was pre-diabetic, but I did just get my test results this past weekend because I've been working for the last 90 days on impacting my, my pre-diabetes as well as my borderline my cholesterol. And by the grace of God, my test results show that I am no longer pre-diabetic and my Amen. cholesterol is within normal range, but still on the high end. So I yes. still have work to do. So I'm still learning. Like you said, it's not a one and done. You right. have to learn the lifestyle and maintain that. So that's what I'm doing. But if Wonderful. you need me to, you know, um, interact with, with my sister or just let me know, I'm happy to do that as well. Okay, great. Great. Okay. Are All there right. any other questions? Well, we're glad that uh, you all uh, attended this session. Um, and keep in mind that, sorry, go ahead, Wanda. Tell them, tell them about the cutoff point tomorrow so that they will know. Yes, to go ahead thank and get you. everything done, yes. For the, because of the shortness of the time. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, tomorrow, three o'clock, is mm -hmm. when we would like to have at least your, your registration if you're going to be uh, attending. And although in some cases you may not be able to get the material by Thursday, again, you will be getting a digital copy of the journal workbook and the cookbook. And the hard copies will follow as soon as possible. After that, certainly you should have it by the time we come together again. Oh. Oh Those dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Was there a question? No, I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if, I, if you want this again. <laughs> okay. So um, we actually have a poll that we want to bring up. And typically we would have done it just before the Q&A, but it got slipped because I didn't say anything at that time. But um, let's bring up the poll so that, make sure, okay, I don't have it. It's there. So that we just uh, asking, okay. Oh, yeah. oh. So as you know, we are, regularly having different programming. This was a special one. This was a special one um, specifically for the Diabetes Undone program, but we have had other health topics shared, finance, as it was indicated at the very beginning. So we like to know your ideas, your thoughts on what you would like to see presented. If you don't see it on our list, you can uh, put it in the chat and we can uh, work with what uh, you are suggesting. Okay, 
So as we are wrapping this up, as we like to begin with prayer, we also like to end with prayer as well. And um, I will go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and pray for us to close out. Again, I thank you all for attending. Yes. Um, and my, my uh, team members, if there's anything that we have left out, please, uh, you can uh, speak up maybe uh, after. And then we'll, we're going to show you a couple of slides um, after the prayer as well. So let's bow our heads to pray. Loving Father God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you that we are um, fearfully and wonderfully made. Our, our bodies, as uh, the, the mayor said, our bodies want to heal. Our bodies want to be right. And we are often the ones that are fighting against what our bodies want to do. And we are so thankful that outside of medication, we are able to reverse the conditions of our bodies um, that we, we find ourselves in. Thank you for uh, Dr. Youngberg and those who are involved in, in using natural methods and encouraging the, the best lifestyle that we can have to improve our condition, especially for something as serious as diabetes. And we know that even when we follow these guidelines, we can have health abundantly uh, and, and, and reverse many diseases when we do it the way that you have called us to. So I pray that you be with those who have uh, registered already, who already plan to be on the workshop, be with those who are considering it, uh, that they may uh, make the right decisions. And, and I pray that you be with us all, that we may take seriously our health and the bodies that you have given us, that we may give, give you the glory and the honor in the way that we take care of ourselves. Thank you once again. We ask that you would be with everyone, every home represented here. Give us a good night's rest and prepare us to face another day tomorrow. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you again, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Thank good night. You. I understand that this is being recorded. Will it be posted on the LBM Church website or? Is there a way to I get will, I'll, I will put a, a link. I think there's a link on the chat of where it will be posted. There is a health website that we do share all of the presentations that have been done since last year. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. you. You as well. Mm -hmm.